Now we want to add the new projectiles, which are the Firebolt and the Blue Firebolt. So let's go ahead and select the Iron Man prefab. Now, once we have the prefab of the Iron Man, what we want to do is locate the script to shoot. In the inspector, go to the player shoot script right here and double click on it to open it. All right. Now, what we want to do is reference the firebolts. How do we do this? Right here inside of the using, just use, put the use statement, using, and the name of the um, framework that has the um, the actual prefabs of the firebolts, and that would be dot pyroparticles. All right, and put a semicolon at the end, and now we're going to uh, randomly either select the blue firebolts or the red firebolts. So we need to have an array that stores the types of firebolts. Right here, inside of the um, of the variable de declaration, I'm going to declare um, an array of game objects, so an array of firebolts game object open and close the bracket so that it becomes an array projectile because the reason why i say projectile prefabs is because i want to add firebolts here but what if in another video game i want to reuse this script and instead of firebolts i'm launching i don't know um uh, bullets right so I, I put projectiles so that this could be reused and understood by anyone that's taking this script all right now private game object and now that's going to be the selected projectile. Why? Because I want from, from the array, I want to take only one of them. I don't want to have the red and blue. I want to have just the red or the blue. And then game object. Current prefab object. Now I could I could add private in front of this. Oh objected that's game object all right so let's add private in front of this game object current prefab object and then i want also access the script so firebase script that's the script from the actual um projectiles and the i'm going to call it current prefab script now you may be wondering why we need that but we're going to use it very soon so you understand why we need the script and then public game object projectile spawn point. Now you may be wondering why a spawn point? Because when you have a character, you want to know where you start the firebolt. You can start it from the head, you can start it from the foot, you can start it from the hands, or even from the chest. So certainly in the Iron Man, uh, you know, in the Iron Man case, you can start it in the chest. But you don't want to start it on the character, because if you start the, the firebolt on the character, then the character might explode from its own fireball, right? So you want to start it in front of it. All right. Having said so, we got to create the spawn point as well. All right. Keep on going. Now I'm going to go ahead and create all of these. So first of all, in the start right here, um, I actually don't need a laser line, but I'm just going to leave that, that code for now. And what I'm going to do is say initialize the uh, projectile. Now, I do not have the initialize projectile, so I'm going to create it. I'm going to co copy this and go all the way down and start the initialization right here. I'm going to say, I don't need to have public, so void initialize projectile. Now, what's what do we do in the initialization of the projectile? We just say where this spawns, right? So we're going to say int selected. So let's select which one, which firebolt we're going to um, we're going to spawn. Random dot range, and let's let's do a range from one to a thousand, so we really get a, a good random number. All right, and then percent, so modulus project projectile prefabs dot length all right so what are we doing here we're selecting we're basically getting the index of a projectile from the uh, projectile prefabs array but we're doing it in a smart way so we really add some randomness and then we put a value that can only be between zero and the max of the projectiles so meaning that we always going to be within the array length all right and now let's use it so selected 
projectile prefab is equal to the projectile prefabs and at the index of the selected. All right, so now we have the projectile. That's it, we set. Now, whenever we shoot, we want to be able to spawn it. All right, so right here in the shoot, we can remove this. So all of this, actually, we can remove it. I'm not going to remove all of it. I'm just going to put it up top. But know that this can be removed. So I'm just going to comment it out for now. You know what? Let's just remove it completely so that you guys are not um, too, um, you know, too wondering what's going on here. So I'm going to remove all of that. We can just keep the is shooting. All right. And now what I'm going to do is spawn the projectile. So spawn projectile. Now, obviously, we don't have a method to spawn the projectile. So let's create it. Right click copy and put it below void spawn projectile now how are we going to spawn this well we're going to spawn this where the spawn point is so current prefab object is equal to game object dot instantiate so here this is the instantiation where we're creating the object and which object well the one that has been selected at the beginning from the randoms all right so we're instantiating it now we need to place it where are we going to place it? Well, well the, where the uh, spawn point is. Current prefab object dot transform dot position is equal to the position of the projectile spawn point. So projectile spawn point dot transform dot position. And now let's do the same for the rotation, right? So current prefab object dot transform dot rotation is equal to the one of this player so that it, it really it spawns in front of the player so, and goes in the same direction transform dot so it's this transform dot rotation all right and then um, at this point that's it what's happening here is that it's 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 going to be uh, tri triggered and it's going to go on its own so i'm going to save this command s and i'm going back to unity now and I'm going to have to um, to set all of this that I just created, right? The the, the spawn points and so on. So if you look in the player shoot, it has a projectile pre prefabs, but there's an, it's zero here. It's empty. So I'm going to have to fill this up. How? I'm going to select two of them for the not 20, just two. And press enter. And now I have two elements. So the first one, I'm going to select the firebolt. So firebolt, this one. All right, and the second, I'm going to select the fireball blue. All right, fireball blue. Now the project has point point. We don't have one, so let's create it. Very simple. Inside of the Iron Man prefab, I'm going to add a game object. Game object, 3D cube. I'm going to create a cube and put that cube inside of the Iron Man prefab. Now I want the cube to be at zero zero zero. So that's the position, and. Uh, as you can see, the cube is not exactly where I want it to be because it's, I put two, but it's zero there. And if I double click on the cube inside of the scene, I can see where it is. So I'm going to double click on it and it's at the feet of the Iron Man. I'm going to move that up and I'm going to move it in front. Why? Because the Iron Man is shooting in front from the, uh, from the, uh, the, 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 the chest. Okay. So I'm moving this here. Now, uh, I just need the position of the cube, so I don't need the box collider. I don't even need the mesh renderer. So the cube is here, but we don't see it. All right. And I'm going to rename that to spawn point instead of cube. All right. Or uh, let's, let's call it firebolt spawn point so that I know that it's for the firebolt. Now, when I click to the Iron Man prefab, I can select that as being the spawn point. Right here, projectile spawn point and select the firebolt spawn point. From the scene, fireball spawn point. All right. Now, something you need to do right now is in the Iron Man prefab, click on apply. If you don't do that, this will not appear inside of the Iron Man prefab. Go to the Iron Man prefab here and select the Iron Man prefab, and you'll see that all your changes have been added to the prefab. All right. Now, if everything seems to be okay, I'm going to press play and we should be able to see that in action. I should be able to shoot fireball. I'm going to click. And as you can see, it says that something is wrong. The instantiation is null. Okay, the thing you want to instantiate is null. So I gotta fix that. All right, 
I'm going to double click and it's going to tell me what I'm trying to instantiate. The selected project prefab is null. So I need to fix that. Very simple. I'm going to double click and it's going to send me exactly where the error is and it's the laser line. So it's basically because it's trying to instantiate the laser line and we did remove the laser. So I'm just going to remove all the references to the laser line and also the shootable mask. We don't need that for now. Removing this. So the line renderer we can remove and anything that says line. Okay, so I'm going to look for line so I can remove that. All right, and I believe that will do. So do the same thing. Anything that says line, just remove it, save it. And let's go back and now press play. All right, and now I'm going to shoot and here we go. We can actually see the fireballs. You guys see that? That's great, right? All right, now, as you can see, it explodes already on its own. It knows exactly when it's hitting a wall and you have a nice explosion. That's perfect. Now, as you can see, it's complaining here saying that the, uh, the layer number must be between zero and 31. So double click here and see what it does. It's because it's looking for a fire layer and we don't have a fire layer. So let's create this fire layer. Just copy this and go back to Unity. Stop the, the game and under layer inside of the inspector, we're going to create a new one. Add layer and then just paste the fire layer, press enter. And if you press play now, this should go away the error. Okay, so go ahead, shoot. And as you can see, the error is gone. And by the way, do you see that at the beginning, the shoot, the fireballs were blue, now they're red. Why? Because um, it's using a different one, so it's selecting randomly. All right, and that's it right now for the fireballs. So we can keep on going, all right.